he was preparing to commission as an apostle. So that he goes to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. He knew for sure that this guy was here to betray me. But he allowed him to be there. He allowed him also to celebrate Holy Communion. He allowed him to be part of the group. So that he too can have his for sins, his sins forgiven. Jesus gave thanks. Jesus gave thanks. He was always thankful to his father for so many things that the father had done for him. Let us look at a few examples where he was thankful. We look at this day or that night. He gave thanks to his father for allowing him to go through what he was to go through. Maybe we analyze it a little bit. If one knows that they are about to be killed, and he Maybe if we would know when are we supposed to die, I don't think some of us were going to be there. Maybe death was going to have its heart. Maybe it was going to chase us. We could run as far as we can go. But Jesus Christ our Lord was not prepared to run away. He was prepared to see it all. For you and for me. That is He gave thanks. That my father you allowed me to come and die for my brothers. <laughs> Allow that this situation is brought to completion and that your will should be done and not my will. Another example where he gave thanks was the time when he fed 5,000 men. There were only five loaves of bread and two fish. And these people were not women. But they were men. Men do not eat so small. Muna hachi, mutu sisi hachi. I remember as a young boy. Na ukula fomu kisali kachanya na fela. My grandmother would always come and look at our dishes before we eat. Boku kuba basali na bata hata kutoa nangela mara la mukeke kuri kisika masisi zimate pilu skachaka. And she would say, "This is small." Mina ukula kuri mina bato. You have to answer. <laughs> because this won't be enough for them. And when we were done eating, 
If there was nothing left in the plate, she will again come there to check. And she will say to the cooks, they are not full. Go and But this way, small man. You can now imagine about the big man, the stout man. Who can hold it? 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 Five loaves of bread. Who can hold it? Who can hold it? Who can hold it? Who can hold it? Who can Jesus asked this man. Who can hold it? Sakupa kama kumuza kunda tani. He looked up to his father and Mas, prayed. Sakutani mila kunda tani nukula pera. He gave thanks that please multiply this for your father. Sakufamu itume la kulindate. Yena amwekeze kwa sikuwa se. So that these do not go hungry. Kulisikama se. Sisa yange sila pile. We also would want to follow suit. To give thanks to our heavenly Father. Whenever a meal is laid and prepared, because it's not all that have an opportunity. Others go hungry. We want to be thankful to our Father. He also gave thanks when he raised Lazarus. Happy Rambula with Jesus. Now, if you have with Tumelo, on a four, Hannah to say Lazarus, go back. He also looked up. The Natalie Miss Body Badim. And thanked his father. With Tumelo, on the time. Who gave him power and authority to fulfill this? There are various examples that we can look at where Jesus gave thanks <laughs> to the Father. Whatever he did on earth, he was thankful. In the message, it speaks about ten individuals that were healed by the Lord. They all had the same sickness. Leprosy. Once they were healed, the nine decided to go away. They decided to go away. Maybe they should have felt themselves. If we come back to this guy, maybe he will return back the disease. It's better to go away. It's better to go and hide. It's better to go and hide. But one of them was mindful of what happened. <laughs> he returned back to say thank you for what the Lord had done for you. Do we also give thanks when we receive help and assistance from Or we forget about it. Then we speak back to the help that we have been we have been given. This morning we are being reminded, dear brothers, let us also be thankful. In the Oshuambo language, they would say, this guy is not thankful. Don't help this man. Don't help this man. Because he will never say But you and I would want to be thankful to our Heavenly Father, to our brothers and sisters. To our fellow men. Why should we be thankful? 
basically we want to be thankful to our God. Iko ni sapiru bata kuno go. So we do want to that. Kumuli mo aro na because he gave us his son. Kabuli yena na ufira mana hai. That he should be born here on earth as a human being. Kuli mana hai atopu ipo amat salifas na kamu do. Experience that which we experience. Take us away from sin. Take us away Take us away from sin. Take us away from sin. us So that we can be reconciled one with Him. Thank Him for the forgiveness of sin. Because in a few moments from now, we will hear beautiful words. That in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, your sins are forgiven. And the peace of the risen one be with you. We want to be thankful to Him for this. Because when we remain into our homes, this we do not hear. But when we are in His house, we hear this beautiful word which washes away our sins, which enables us to be reconciled to our Lord. It enables us to move. Marching towards the goal of our faith. This is what we want to do each and every day. To be thankful always. I am often reminded of mothers. When a child is born in the home. And it is given something. The mother says, Be thankful. And here among us, the lowest speakers, the mother even says, Clap the hands. Maybe three times, I don't know how many times. <laughs> but we are sure that you are thankful. <laughs> but if the child does not want to be thankful, we cannot go. The mother does not become happy. The mother will teach it more and more. Also, we are taught today. But the mother never will 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 we thank the Lord for the air that we breathe. We thank the Lord for the families that we have. We, are, we thank the Lord for who we are. We thank the Lord that He has chosen us from various nations. So that we are His own. This is what we want to do. All the days of our lives. Until the day the Lord returns. Amen. Amen. I am happy and thankful. That the two bishops are present here. And we might not have had an opportunity. To hear the voice from Botswana before. When you know the Nicolo, Yaku, Rinzi, there is very like one of Swana. Bishop Musoya was here in this congregation some years ago. Your Bishop Musoya, Nakina to Makeni, or a Mako Panae, Crossabus Telimo. When I met him for the first time, on a four hundred companion and a pity. I thought to myself, I have seen this face before. The new group plus my twana will ah ah. The pastor said, "You're not smart." And he also said to me, "But you, you look familiar, Samuel." Me and Abbas have been laughing. Ah, but but the man in the matter will be more annoyed now. During our discussions, during my hearing them, Bolozalo, 
then he revealed where he should have seen me. Then I took Patula. Was it like a cell when I hear him born? And I said to him, I was so small. Three more up with oh, go down the back. Find out where you were only born. Then they didn't put a mummy now. And today we have a privilege to hear him speak. Together we sing him number 108. Uh, number number Washing the dishes. One more. Tap some keke. 